Hi, welcome back to Reading with Money. I'm Money, and today I'm doing my July, no, August. <laughs> August TBR plus Magical Readathon, so that will be at the end of the video. Anyway, if you're new here, um, this is my TBR game. I play it every month, and it's based on the TV show Friends. Each square is a different genre, plus the lightning round cards, which I think my cat is sitting on, so... I'll show them to you when I have to. Uh, but yeah, I'll link the first video or the playlist up above in case you want to see uh, all the prompts in more detail. In any case, um, let me tell you about last month. In July, I think I had six books on my TBR. I only read four of those. I did read a couple more books, but they were just not on my TBR. So anyway, pretty good, I would say. There are no punishments or rewards anyway. I always need some help picking the books because I am very indecisive. So I think that's everything I need to tell you. So let's go with row number one. Okay, so cards have been shuffled and I'm gonna put my counter where I last left off and let's go with row number one. Okay, that is off frame, but it's a four before, oh god, before my cat gets it, <laughs> but it was a four. Um, I'm gonna have to hold it in my hand until she loses interest, but that's four. So one, two, three, four. So that's a card. Let's see what it is. A scotch tape. That's the latest purchase. Okay, so scotch tape. Can you actually see that? I never know. Anyway, <laughs> scotch tape is the latest purchase. For that, I had to really think about it because I couldn't remember what was the last book I actually bought but i did end up remembering it was this the second sleep by robert harris um i am super loving this book even though it's just a paperback it's soft on the side and it's shiny here i don't know it's just pretty cool um i'm not really sure what this is about i picked it up because i enjoyed robert harris's cicero trilogy which i read last year and i loved it i think it, that this is kind of like dystopian but also historical fiction i'm not sure how it works but it's about this young priest who is replacing another dead priest and he is traveling to that town or whatever and something weird is going on i don't know um i am very excited about reading this though so that is the first thing on the tbr all right roll number two my cat is still there so i don't know if i can do this <laughs> can i can i do this I distracted her, so that's a two. One, two. Oh, enjoy the candy! I haven't gotten that in like a year or something. Cool. Okay, next I got to enjoy the candy, which I hadn't gotten in like ages, but it's basically a free choice. Um, so for that, I am putting Voices of the Dead by Ambrose Perry. I'll put the picture up here. This is the fourth book in the Sims. No, what is it? I can never remember Raven, the Raven, Fisher, and Simpson series. Uh, it's historical fiction, but mystery, and it follows these doctors. So Dr. Simpson was an actual real-life doctor uh, in Edinburgh, and he is the one who discovered the use of chloroform to put people to sleep, basically, for operations and for giving birth. Uh, he was a gynecologist, uh, obstetrician, I don't know what the word is, but yeah. So in the series, we follow them, especially his apprentices, um, Will and Sarah, as they solve mysteries, but are, they are related to medicine. I'm not doing a very good job of explaining this, but it's a very fun um, historical fiction mystery series. I really, really love it. It's very well researched. The plots are very gripping. I don't know. I read the first three books in 2021, I think, so I'm very excited that this one is finally out and I can get back to it. I cannot remember for the life of me what happened in the third one, though, like in terms of their personal lives, because that is also a little bit explored in the series. So I'm gonna have to um, do a refresher before I read this book, I think. Uh, but I'm very excited. Okay, roll number three. Again, off frame, that's a six. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, another card. Oh, he's so pretty, I want to cry. Great. Okay, so next for He's So Pretty, I Want to Cry, um, that is a book with a beautiful cover. For that, I am picking um, The Night Ship by Jess Kidd. Now, this was 
very much influenced by my magical readathon um, options. But this book follows dual timelines. They're both in the past, I think. Like one is in the 1600s and the other is in the 1800s. And it revolves around this ship and the people who were on it in the 1600s. And then some people who live in the coast and find the shipwreck, I think. I'm not entirely sure like how the stories are connected or what it is, but it's historical fiction with magical realism, I think. And I read a story by this author in The Haunting Season, a book with short stories, and I'm very excited to read more from her. So yeah, that's the next one. Four, two, one, two. Oh my god, it's not my card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll wear them all the time. Okay, awesome. Okay, next was another card. I'll wear them all the time. And that is physical TBR. Um, I'm putting another repeat. Is this the month I finally do this? <laughs> I'm gonna read A History of Wild Places by Sha by Shea and oh, I cannot talk by Shay Earnshaw. Um, I have to do this. I have to do this at some point and before I lose all interest in this. I'm still not sure how to explain what this book is about. Do I even know? I don't know. But I think it's it's mystery um, with a dash of, with some horror and magical realism things. I don't know. But it's about these people getting lost um, and others going to find them, I think. Uh, there was this author, I think, wasn't there? Yeah, a well-known author of macabre children's books who um, is missing and then someone gets hired to go see what happened and then they go missing as well. I don't know. I I'm gonna do this this month. I have to. I have to. Stop. <laughs> My god. She's never so obsessed with this game. I don't know what's going on today. Will you let me roll number five? Hi, editing me here, editing and realizing that when my cat moved the board, she actually moved my counter and I did not realize. So yeah, the last two rolls are messed up. I'm not gonna redo them. This is what we get. But I only just realized, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That's a three and I move it. <laughs> two, three. Great. Do you want to put the book in the freezer? Okay, next I landed on um, the fridge, which is horror. And for that, I have another repeat. And that is All's Well. Again, is this the month I do this? This is All's Well by Mona Awad. It's about this teacher who wants to put on All's Well, but their stu her students don't want to. And then weird things go on. She meets some uh, strange benefactors who are going to help her, or I don't know. Um, I, I don't want to know anymore. I know that there's chronic illness uh, representation in this as well. I've been putting this on my TBR for months and I don't get to it, but maybe this time I actually will. So yes, we'll see. Okay, and roll number six, which is going to be the last one. Ooh, got to do this. Last one. It's a two. One, two. An eagle flew in. Okay, she's gonna she's gonna take everything now. All right, that's it though. And finally, the eagle is fantasy, and for that, I'm going to be reading *Witch King* by Martha Wells. Um, I fell in love with Martha Wells' writing when I read the Murderbot Diaries um, series. I read the first four, and um, I had Network Effect, the next one, on my TBR for this month, but I'm not gonna get to it. So yeah. But anyway, I'm excited to read her fantasy. This is adult fantasy, and it follows this lady who gets woken up at some a deity that was dead and gets woken up and then things go from there i am not doing a very good job of explaining books today but you know this book has been doing the rounds on booktube i always leave all the goodreads links down below anyway but yeah i am very excited to read this book i've been wanting to read it since it came out so yes it sounds very cool and that's it for my game tbr and now i'm going to go over how those correlate to some of the magical readathon if you don't know, if you're if you are new to booktube, I guess because 
everyone knows at this point. The Magical Readathon was created by G from Book Roast, and we have this magical school, and we have this autumn equinox. Yes, autumn. We're going into spring here, but yeah. Um, autumn equinox for everyone in the north, and yeah, I uh, have my career. Hold on, where is my reading journal? Here we go. So my career is Story Weaver, and last semester I had to read an Art of Illusion book, which was to match clothes color to color color. And for that, I read The Secrets of Hardwood Hall. I have the book, but I'll put the picture up here. And I was wearing a green top when I, um, when I picked it. So that was that. Then for inscription, I had to read my book from my top or highest shelf. And for that, I read an arc because it was like my top priority shelf. I think that's what I counted it as. I could count Lee Ward, for example, by Katie Daish, which I read in April. So that was that. Then for lore, book with a map, I actually am counting The Terror by Dan Simmons because it has a map at the beginning. And I could not remember any other maps by the time I was finally done with this because <laughs> I didn't do it all in April, obviously. And for Psionics and Divination, I had to read Clouds on the Cover or in the title, I had both because I read Cloud Atlas for that. So yes, I was very proud of myself for that. I actually finished Cloud Atlas in May, but you know, whatever, right? So for this um, semester, I have to read, I have to get an O for inscription, which is a book from your end of the year TBR. And for that, I'm putting Voices of the Dead because I definitely want to get to it this year before I forget even more about the series. So that is going there. Then I need to get a D in lore. So for the O, which is a bookseller's recommendation, I was actually going to ask my friend who lives in Canada to do this for me because I don't think I can ask a bookseller here in Uruguay. It will be very strange. Like it's not, there's not that much of a culture here and books in English are kind of hard to come by. So yeah, I, I would be hard pressed. So I was going to ask my friend to do it in Canada, but she has been very busy and she hasn't been able to do it yet. She might be able to do it during the weekend. So I might go with that, with what she ends up telling me in the weekend, but I needed to film this today because yeah, it's the only time I have. So then I tried to go on some uh, bookseller websites to try to see if there were any recommendations. And I found this on the Waterstones, um, website, which is their July book of the month. And that is Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow by Garel Seven. Um, this is my sister's uh, copy, which she lent me because she told me that I had to read it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I've been, I've been really wanting to read this. I adore this cover like everyone else. All I know is that it's about these two people who are involved in video games. And that's, that's all I know. And yeah, that's what I'm reading for that. I'm very excited. My sister loved it, so I'm hoping to discuss it with her soon. Then for the queue was clothing on the cover. And for this, I think I'm going to pick Witch King, which in the, on the cover you see the main character with, you see their cloak, at least, I think. Uh, it was hard to do. I have a couple of other options, but I'm not sure I'll be able to get to them. One of them is The Virgin Suicides uh, by Jeffrey Eugenides which my sister also read and she can lend me and her cover has um, clothes on it. And then there was also Speech Team by Tim Murphy, who wrote Christodora and I absolutely loved uh, last month, this month. Um, and it, this is his new book coming out in August. So if I can get to that, I might. And the cover also has clothes, as you can see. I don't know. I have options, but we'll see how I go with that. And then for the D, I had to read a horror book, which was perfect because I got horror in my TBR game. And as you know, I'm picking all swell by Mona Iwa. So awesome. I just pronounced this author's last name in two different ways in the same video. And I don't know exactly how to say it. Is it Awad or Awad? I never remember. I don't know. I apologize. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. Can you tell? And then I have two more, right? Then I need a Q in Psionics and Divination. And for the O, I had to do a random tarot card generator. I don't own a, a tarot deck. Um, and I had to get some symbol in the title or in the cover. And um, as you can see, I'll put the clip here. The card I got was the moon. And that's why I picked the night ship because it has a moon. I don't know. I'm probably put the two pictures <laughs> so you can see the moons. So yeah, I thought it was 
pretty cool. And I've been meaning to get to Jess Kid's book for a while, so this was a good opportunity. And finally, for the queue for Sinus and Divination, I had to read a book set in the future. There's so much noise outside. So for a book set in the future, I have a couple of options and they're the same as I had last month for sci-fi because I didn't get to either of them. <laughs> so one of them is Network Effect by Martha Wells, which would be a second Martha Wells in the same month, which is fine by me. Um, this is the fifth one in the Murderbot series, which follows this um, not murdering robot. The other option I have is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Um, because I do want to also read that. I'm not sure. I can't remember what it's about now, apart from like, it's people on an expedition to terraform a planet, maybe? I'm not. I can't. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's it. I apologize for the chaotic vibe of this video, because yeah. Again, the link to G's original video will be down below, as well as links to these books because I did not do a very good job of explaining them. Let me know if you have read any of these books and if you're participating in the Magical Readathon and what you're reading for it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to to see how I actually do this month. Um, I have my July vlog coming out next, I think, if I finally get around to editing it. Hopefully. And yeah, I plan on vlogging uh, August. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, happy reading!